Hi guys, it's Miss Shopslot and I'm back. I know it's been a little while, um, but it was my birthday month. So we had lots of fun things planned and it is finally winding down. Um, so I have time to do a video and we have a jewelry jar. Now I had a weird comment my last video um, saying, oh, it's gold and silver every time she pulls one out and there must be the crown jewels in there, blah, blah, blah. I'm guessing saying that it was fake. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you for thinking that I have that kind of money that I can just go out and buy all real stuff and throw them in a fake bat, uh, jar. That's great. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> I promise you these are all random jars. Um, they are not specially curated for me. They are not special for me. They are for anyone who can get them. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But there is no guarantee of what is in these. Uh, I have opened a couple of bags off camera. Um, I filmed them and there really wasn't anything in there. So I didn't think it was worth putting up. So I do get plenty of times where there's nothing in them. But who wants to watch me go through a jar of... or uh, Jars I do well on. Bags though. I mean who wants to watch me go through a bunch of junk jewelry? with nothing fun. Um, so it's not always a guarantee. It is always a gamble. It is always a surprise. And it is never fake. And I promise that. Uh, so with that being said, I will get into my jar. Uh, I have been garage sailing and all that other fun stuff. We are possibly going to the New York State Fair this week. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, we are in a seasonal climate and garage sale season is winding down. Uh, we only get probably, we get May, June, Ju June is rough because there's lots of graduations and stuff, marriages, weddings, stuff like that. So May, June, some of June, some of July, August, it starts to slow down. Um, they'll probably go for the next two or three weeks. Um, and then they'll just start petering out, which sucks. But what can you do? Oh, and before I get into this, I did go to a estate sale. And it really hurt my heart. <laughs> I've been to estate sales before. And sometimes they're okay. And sometimes I get that I shouldn't be here vibe. This was totally one of them. I mean, it looked like the person had like past yesterday and nothing it was family done nothing was priced nothing was taken out like it was pretty much just dig through her stuff it felt very uncomfortable I felt so I could not have bought it. I don't care what was in the house I could not have bought it I could not have brought it into my house it just the whole vibe was just sad and I did not like the vibe there the other guy that was kind of looking around he felt the same way so we both kind of left like it literally, like, not, like her bed was still unmade. Her shoes were by her bed. Like, not neatly, but, like, she just kicked them off. And it, it was, I, yeah. So I'm not a huge fan of estate sales to begin with, price-wise, and just the creep factor. But, I mean, that's my story. Anywho, let's get into this jar. All right. So hopefully we don't have any issues with seeing things. Um... All right, let me put some glasses on here. What do we have? This is just a costume bracelet. It's in poor condition. We'll throw it over here. This is weird. So this is costume, but this is kinda, kinda funky, I don't know. So all the garage sale stuff I put into either jars for somebody who wants to sell them cheap at a garage sale or if they want to use pieces, you know, broken pieces for crafts and stuff like that. Uh, let's see what we have here. These are fun. These are really fun. These look like cloisonne a bit earrings with the little these are super cute 
those are super cute. All right, so we'll put those to the side. Those are those are kind of amazing. Not gonna lie, I like those a lot. Not big enough for me though. I am a statement earring girl. This is pretty. It's plastic. It's got some cool plasticky beads. Again, just costume, but still pretty. We have what looks like a sterling box chain, and it is, promise you again, it is not a plant. <laughs> uh, let's see. This looks like it could be silver, but I'm not seeing any markings. So I'm thinking it, oh, what does it say Anne Klein? Anne Klein, I believe Anne Klein does do silver. I'm not seeing any sterling symbols. So I'm thinking it is just costume, but it is really pretty. It's a very nice piece. It might be costume, I, or I don't see any 925, but I did get an Anne Klein 925 bracelet before. So look at that over there with the nicer stuff. Again, everything is for sale, unless I say otherwise, but 99% of it is. If you're interested in anything, please let me know. If you come to an older video, there's a good chance that it's no longer available. Um, I've had people reach out to me about videos from a year or so ago, and unfortunately, unless it's gold or something gold or silver, I've already gotten rid of it. So this is pretty. This is Napier, Napier. Oh no, this is Monet, sorry. A nice herringbone with some faux rhinestones, or faux diamonds. Tilt you down a little there. <clears throat> All right, we have this piece, which is a costume piece kind of discolored might be good for crafting uh this is a pretty earring i don't think that's 925 no just an earring put the earrings here and this is most likely sterling yeah this is a sterling silver ring it is very tarnished but would come clean and look beautiful when it does Hope everybody is having a good summer so far. Our summer has been wacky. It has been the longest fall ever with a sprinkle of summer here and there. It is the craziest summer ever. Like on my birthday, it should be for, it should be hot. It should be so hot and uncomfortable. And it was cold. I wore a pair of jeans and I had a jacket with me. I did take it off, but yeah, it was cold first day of our fair and we were freezing had jackets on jeans on sneakers my husband had a flannel on and we were freezing this is pretty this is still and this is cold I'll put that in the garage side pile this is stuck this is a rooster with i believe that's a puerto rican flag I'm not quite sure about the rooster situation, but yeah, it's on a nice chain. The chain is not marked. Um, it is, oh wait, it is marked, but it's fake. And this is a good teaching moment. As you can see, it is marked 14 karat, but it is fake and I, ha I used to be a bartender for a long, long, long time. And I had a guy come in once with all kinds of gold at amazing prices. And it was all marked and I was stupid and naive. And I bought like $60 worth and it was all fake. Um, it's not magnetic. That does not mean anything. This is magnetic right here. Um, it's probably gold over brass. Still a good um, costume piece. That over there. We got an earring. 
we have, I would make some uh, funny comments, but we're gonna keep it clean here. We're gonna keep it clean. Um, this is a multi-chain, it's very discolored. I'm just gonna toss that one. These are cute. Those are pretty. Little hoops. I don't know what that is. So I want to try what not so badly. I just have to do it. Keep talking about it. Are any of you on whatnot? What do you think? Should I do it? I don't know if this is silver or not. Let's see. I don't think it is. I don't know what these are. I'm guessing it's some sort of wine charm, but that would piss me off with all that on there. All right. This is just a joker. That's the other earring. This is somebody else's initials. It looks like MBM. BMM. I don't. How does that work? I don't, I don't know. Are they supposed to go in front? I can't tell what that's. So we'll put it aside for now. Uh, let's see here. So this is going up, regardless of what I find. The jars always go up. Um, but like I said, I did open two bags and I didn't even want to open the bags, but my puppy, she's not even a puppy no more. I can't even give her that excuse. My dog saw one and loves to rip things. If it's in a baggie or a bag, she's obsessed and wants to rip it apart and get into it. She doesn't care once she's into it. She just wants to get into it. And it's just the most fun thing in the world for her. So this is a really nice costume chain. Almost reminds me of like a watch band. So, because she had ripped it open, I was like, okay, let's go through it. And it was nothing. So she saved me some time. This is like a multi-chain bracelet. And this is a tangled up pair of earrings that I'm not going to detangle right now. I do have two big um, jars, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do them in two, like split each jar into two videos or do one big long video. Let me know what you think. All right, we got this, which this might be silver. Hold on. I do see some markings. Let me get my loop at Sills. I don't know what the heck it says. It says Mexico. Oh. I got that. I don't know what the rest of that is. And I don't know what that says. But I'm pretty sure it's sterling. Let's see. It looks like it. Let's hope it's not alpaca. From first glance, it looks pretty good. I have the markings right here. Let's see if we can. I see, I can't see it this way. I see Mexico something and then something right there. So I'm fairly positive that's Sterling. I will probably keep that. I'm gonna shine that up and keep that. I love a cough. Big earrings, a good silver cuff, which I need to slim down my cuff situation because I have lots, lots and lots of cuffs. Too many. Oh, this is different. This is weird. What is this? What is this? Um, I don't know.
It looks like it's a, no, it's not a locket. I don't know. Be fun to craft with. Ooh, that bright, that light is giving me light. This is copper. See, this is a lot of junk, a lot of junk so far. This is all tangled, discolored, not even gonna bother. This is discolored, however, that, I don't know. Vintage, I don't know, I kinda like it. We'll put that to the What you got? Drop it, drop it, drop it. All right, we have a little earring, a little earring. Cookie better go lay down. Little crystal earrings. Another crystal earring, that's pretty. We have a cross bracelet. Got a tag, RLM Studios, Robert Lee Morris, I believe is that who it is. That's really cool. Very cool. Uh, we have a charm bracelet from Claire's. Not Sterling. Just a Claire's piece, but let's... Oh, yeah. Claire special, there's the other earring, and there's the other earring for that. Do, 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 do. So this is fun, what is this? Oh, 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 it's twisted, it's twisted. Oh, what the heck is that? It's got some verdigris on it, so that looks so pretty. Marked something. Let's see. Let's get the loop and look. Gold filled. It definitely looked gold. Um, that is really pretty. This will clean up really nicely. These earrings are pretty. Pretty uh, toast. These are cute. And this multi chain. Leah Sophia. I went to quite a few garage sales this summer of Leah Sophia, Sophia dealers that were getting out of the business. I couldn't believe how many there were. And then there was a lady who was getting out of the it's that paparazzi business. Ugh, such a, I don't know. You know, the, some of the jewelry really isn't that bad. It really isn't. It's just so over saturated. I don't know. It's, this is a little B. This is a breast cancer bracelet. That light is good right now. So excited. Uh, this is a magnetic closure. I don't see any. Oh, wait. MX, it looks like. That is a really nice chain with the tri color. That's a really pretty necklace. I'm not sure who MX is. This is the other earring. This is the other earring. Those earrings are over there. This one says by Picasso. Liz Palacio. <laughs> Not by Picasso. Liz something or other. Then we got this pearl break ring. I don't 
don't see any markings. Pretty nice. Oh, 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 oh. This is not a very big jar, so we will get through this fairly quickly. Usually my videos are an hour, and I can't see this thing an hour. There's a lot of chunky stuff in here, so. Uh, this is a broken necklace. This. This is decent. It's got a nice chain to it. We have a gold bracelet faux. Love a good gold rope, even if it's fake. We have a necklace, gold rope, in good condition. We have a, another, like a herringbone kind of, oh wait, does this match that big one? Eh, kinda. We got a little ring. No marks, just a little cheapy. Um, this is Anne Klein. A lot of nice Anne Klein jewelry today. This is a really nice chain. Really nice. I really, really, really like that. That would look good layered with the other incline. Those are definitely very nicely made. Very good quality um, costume. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good one, that's a good one. This, I don't know what these two are for. I know sometimes they go on people's, you know, those shirts that you could buy back in the day where it had a necklace connected. Never understood those. Um, this, Tango here. This is costume. These are. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Alright, this is just junk costume. Not even good. It's tarnished. Claire's special. That's a cute little, I remember going to, I'll never forget it, I'm so mad. I remember going to, this is Korea, this is vintage. I remember going to a, what was it? It was like, you know, like a, a fair. And they had these two heart necklaces and I wanted to get our names carved in it. And the guy was on a lunch break or something like that. And when we came back, they were closed and they never came back again. I was so sad I wanted our I wanted one of those. This looks like it says gold filled. I don't know what that is. But it's got a little it looks like a GF or a JG, I don't know. I think it's just junk though. Alright, let me let's see. This is Another nice necklace, again with the two, I don't know what this is for. This is a nice heavy duty, long, this is heavy, chain. Uh, this is a cool little necklace with the turquoise crosses or clovers. I don't know if anybody will want that, but we'll try and see what happens. This is a vintage rhinestone bracelet. And a rhinestone necklace. This one looks like it could be silver, but I'm not seeing anything. This might be. I'll have to double check. Eh, I don't think it is. Let's see. So if it turns copper like this, automatically it's not. And it's not. It's pink. Automatic telltale that it is not. Yeah, this is, we are, we're almost done with this jar, y'all. That went quick. All right, this definitely looks sterling. It is not marked. However, I'm 
fairly confident that that's silver and coral. Coral. That's a good sign. I'd still have to test it, but I'm, oh, that's tiny. I'm 99% sure that that is sterling. Okay. Earring, we got another vintage rhinestone bracelet and some beads, crystals that are Mark Sterling. Obsidian? I don't, I'm not sure. Alright, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Maybe I'll film another one and give you guys a two for this week since I was absent last week. This is sterling. Nice little sterling cuff. Ooh, it's very soft. Very soft. A little too big for me, so I will let this one go if anyone is interested. We got some pearls. Some blue, purple pearls. Um, I don't see a marking, but these look okay. As far as being silver, I think it is. Again, for sale. Uh, this is real stone. A real yeah gemstone I don't know what kind of stone um, but they are pretty I don't know is that tiger's eye probably not I don't know I have, I'm terrible with this and then there's another one um, in green <coughs> sorry greens and blues which is very pretty Those can be for sale for a bundle. Whoa, all right, we're done. That's it, that's it. Oh, you know what? I have gotten this before. This is an Otazu necklace. Otazu. I got one of these before and it was in shoes. They were shoes, but this is kind of gorgeous. And if I'm not mistaken, these are sterling. Let me see, Otazu, 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 Otazu. So this one is not marked 925 anywhere that I'm seeing. Oh wait, no, Otazu. Um, the shoe one I have is sterling. But these are very well made necklaces, very expensive. Um, yeah. Ooh, look at this shiny girl. Ooh, wee, look. Oh, she's pretty. Very pretty. So, this is an Otazu necklace. Again, it's not marked. Let's check. It's not marked 925 that I can see. My shoe one is. Um, so if it turns silver, possibility. If it turns coppery, pink, it's an automatic no. Turn silver. Let me try a different piece. That piece was kind of hard. There's a chance it's silver. I gotta go over it a little bit better. I just kind of skimmed through it, but I didn't see, I see Otazu marked on every piece, but I don't see like if it's sterling or not. I feel like it's got some discoloration, but either way, this necklace is gorgeous. That is a good necklace. I see some cat's eye, some pink cat's eye with some cloisonne beads. That's 
very pretty. Homemade. Had to check on my dog. She was awful quiet. <sighs> These are gorgeous. They're sterling and I only see one. I am super, super, super freaking sad about that. Hopefully it's in one of my other jars because that is gorgeous with the fire opal in there. Oh, these are amazing. All right, we got a little gold ring that is just costume. We have a silver braided. This one is sterling. Oh, that looks so good cleaned up with a nice little tan, some shiny silver. I love it. So, some sterling. This looks like another sterling piece. I think I actually own this bracelet in several shades of silver. Uh, this is sterling as well. And again, this one sparkles because it's got like cuts, diamond cuts in it. So, those are extra sparkly. We got these, which are not marked anything, just a nice costume piece. We are having a big garage sale in two weeks. Super excited, lots of jewelry, purses, etc. Me and Princess Casserole. Uh, this is another not marked, just costume rope so i'll probably put all of these together if anyone would like to purchase and they're all different lengths too which is nice with the matching bracelets oh, there was two bracelets bracelets um if anyone's interested i do 25 for all of them just shoot me an email oh here's another one i'll throw that one in too And last but not least, um, whoever made these, where they go? These necklaces also made this one, and it's hematite with hematite hearts. And that's it. So it wasn't a terrible one. It wasn't one of my best. Um, we got some silver. We didn't get any gold this time. No gold. Silver. Love this. It's going to look so nice shined up. Um, and then the other one's for sale. We got some nice costume. Love these. Love these. So if you're interested in anything, please send me a email. My email is in the description. So when I was cleaning up, I realized I missed a guy. It was over to the side over here. And it's this sterling and turquoise ring. And I have a ton of these, so I will also be selling this if anyone is interested. But I just found it while I was cleaning up and it was to the side where I was putting the jewelry. And I must have missed this guy. All right, that's it. Take care. And I will see you guys next time.